Hello Vancouver and hello Canada. Welcome to North Shore Living. In this very special Canada 150 edition of North Shore Living, we are going to celebrate hardcore. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour! Today is Canada's 150th birthday. Happy Canada Day. Today's also the day we launched our new Stellar Bay Sea Lion exhibit here at the Vancouver Aquarium, so I'll show you guys that as well. There's also supposed to be a giant Canadian flag somewhere here in Stanley Park, so I'm gonna try to find that. See if I can get some aerial shots. I don't think I'm allowed to fly drones in Stanley Park. Otherwise, let's get cracking. My god, that's huge. So I heard in the news that this is the world's biggest Canadian flag ever. And I can't, oh my god, I can't even get this thing on camera. I bought a beer at the bar so I can get higher up and get a better view of this flag. That is true Canadian patriotism right there. I wish I could take my drone up. Damn you, Aviation Canada. Ah, oh, what the hell, I'm gonna fly it anyway. I mean, it's Canada Day. It would be sacrilege not to fly it above that amazing thing. Did you see that thing? It's huge. If I go to jail for this, they're not gonna send me to jail. That's un-Canadian. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> I don't have a wife. I don't have a wife. Denise, hey, what are you up to these days? Oh, with your husband? Hey, can I call you back? Sharon, long time. Yeah? Alex? Stark? Sure. I, I could stop calling, yeah. Yeah, hello matchmaker? Anyway, now I gotta go home, get the damn drone, come back downtown. Traffic is crazy. Ah, the things I do for this channel. So, got home, got the drone, had a quick shower, got changed into something more Canadian, got my Canadian flag. We are good to go, my friends. Oh my god. I think they rolled it up. They rolled it up. So, just spoke to the guy who donated the flag. He said they're gonna be at UBC at Buck Oval tomorrow, and hopefully if there's not too many people around, we'll take the drone up. I'll see you then. Right now, we're gonna head back to the North Shore. I'm gonna quickly grab something to eat, and then we're gonna head up to Cypress Bowl Lookout. I think we're gonna try to see the fireworks from there. I might even be able to take up the drone. Who knows? Anything could happen. The great thing about Cypress Bowl Lookout is it's super high up. There shouldn't be anyone around. Oh no! Everyone had the same idea. Great, great, that's great. There's no way I'm gonna take off the drone and not annoy somebody. All right, let's annoy some people. Bears. Bears come out on this road at night. Bears, Jim. Bears. 
I'm all alone. I'm so lost without you. I'm gonna die alone on this mountain. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. True patriot love. The true north strong and free. I'm so startled. Hello again. It is the very next day and I'm still wearing the same shirt. So we are here at Frank Buck Oval, I think it's called. Frank's Francis Buck Oval, somewhere at UBC. Uh, we're here unraveling the world's biggest Canadian flag. It's gonna be epic. Let's get cracking. We're here unpacking this thing and in case I didn't tell you, it actually did break the record. It is the biggest Canadian flag in the world. It's 140 meters long and 70 meters wide, weighs in at approximately one metric ton. And just to have this thing draped over my shoulders felt amazing. The world's biggest Canadian flag draped over my shoulders. That's a uh, once in a lifetime. And we are done. The guys that made this thing actually let me help them unroll it, which was pretty cool. Look at this thing, it's amazing! Okay, we're gonna take the drone up. It's gonna look amazing. Let's get cracking. Thanks for watching North Shore Living. Keep on North Shore Living. And as always, stay golden, pony boy.